Now we're going to go back to those first three plots on the very front down this corner. Yeah, I mean, we've never done it before, but this um, area had a I think we're all going to try and um, the present the way we normally do. That's University of so, Kentucky um, grains crop specialist Carrie Knott talking about the importance thing, uh, of making this year's this Wheat Field good, Day a virtual experience. Every here, year in May, the, the Wheat Field Day at UK's it's Research and Education Center in Princeton so is a must-attend for producers. But this year, it will be done the, the, on yeah, Zoom, the video conferencing app. Right now, it's just going to be a Zoom. We're going to have, of course, a moderator. Um, and then we're just going to have our topics and try to roll through our field day like we normally would. We're going to try to keep it that, that are on there. as much like the field day as we can. The big difference, of course, is that presenters will not be in the field live like normal, but there will be pre-recorded segments from the field. Participants can expect to hear information on the usual topics, and as in the past, producers will have an opportunity to ask specialist questions and interact with each other. All the speakers are going to be there live. Um, some people may have pre-recorded segments, but I mean, it's going to be sort of a real-time dialogue that will occur. So I think that's the biggest concern. One topic sure to be discussed will be the effects of recent freezes and what damage may have occurred, like this emergency call meeting in 2017 when a freeze that year stung the wheat crop. In the long run, I don't think it'll have serious consequences, but it will be visually striking, right? Mm -hmm be really disheartening, I think, given all everything else that's going on. It's just going to be hard to take, I think. The virtual Wheat Field Day meeting will be Tuesday, May the 12th, from 9 a.m. until noon Central Time. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.